Check out this amazing bun. Hairstyle inspired by Lindsay. Yay. <laughs> so this is what? We're gonna call this pillow talk? Yes. Pillow talk with Jacqueline and Lindsay. Yay. We're gonna bitch about Boys. <laughs> boys. Because boys are stupid. <laughs> I like how because boys are. And she says, Cute. Ah, there we go. That's better than idiots. Um, yeah, so we were talking about what were we talking about? Oh, how and I this is my my hair masterpiece is falling down. We were talking about how like guys try super hard and they're like obsessed with you at the beginning. This this used to be cute, I swear it was. Um <laughs> they're like obsessed with you at the beginning and then something happens after you reciprocate those feelings and then it's like but it's like they're obsessed with you at the beginning so you don't like worry about a guy as much because they're always calling you you almost have to have them like go away you know and they're like begging for you to date them and to hang out with them and like telling them how they want telling you how they want to be with you forever and then finally you like date them and you're with them and you're just never responding that you want to be with them forever the whole time because they're doing it so early that like you need to have it sink in like you like them and then it finally sinks in, and they're like, oh my god, like, I feel so much pressure. I can't believe you're pressuring me. <laughs> and you're like, you are the one who's been saying this for, like, months, and now I finally reciprocate it. Like, what's going on? Like, Have you guys dealt with this? Or guys, if you guys are watching, do you do this shit? They're afraid of commitment, or they want what they can't have. Well, it's like a mixture of both. It's like guys say things. Like, girls don't say things unless they mean it, and guys just say things. Like, in the moment they mean it. But then they don't always they don't mean think it, like, it through. Later. Yeah, they don't think it, like, yeah. long term. And I think that's why they, like, they just haven't thought that far in advance where, like, a girl has. Like, we might not feel that way, but we're, like, preparing for it. I do. Yeah, I don't, say, I don't say, like, anything, like, serious to a guy unless, like, I've thought about it for, like, exactly. a significant amount of time. Then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I feel this. And uh, I want this with you. And let's do this thing. And then that's, like, what they've been asking for. For like months, and then they're like, "Oh, well, that's that's pretty serious. I don't know." And I feel like you're the one who said that. You said something else that was interesting earlier. Oh, um, about when like guys get over girls and girls get over guys. Yeah. It's basically about how like girls and guys get over things. Like, I have to angle myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's so comfy. Um, so basically, like a guy will seem like he's not upset if you like break up or get in a fight. Oh God, yeah. No, like right when it happens, yeah. And then, but a girl will be, like, hysterical at the beginning. Uh -huh. But then it will be, like, three weeks later, and the guy is, like, crying and texting you and bothering you, and you've moved on because it's, like, you know, three weeks or a month later. And it's the same thing. Guys don't think it anything through. They're only thinking about, like, the moment. But now longer. I miss you. And, and then the girl's already thinking about it, like, oh, you messed up. Like, yeah, if, you, if you if you missed if you missed me, then why did you screw it up to begin with? Yeah, I, I just, they don't think that far in, in advance. Maybe one day they will. But I don't think so. I don't know. It's just I think like we're screwed. I just think it's. I feel like you know, like us girls are capable of understanding that guys think in like the moment. But I feel like guys should understand that like it makes you feel like you can't express yourself, and everyone yeah. should be able to feel like they can express ourselves because that really puts pressure on us. We well, don't, I mean, like, complain. Yeah, and guys should be able to feel like they can express themselves too. Yeah, like I could have said early on, like, uh, you're being too forward but then that would I'd feel bad like saying that because I because, want them to be able to you know yeah be, and, I, and I like you it's not that it scares me I like it and so like I'm going to make you feel comfortable because why would I make you feel bad for expressing yourself that you like me like obviously I like you anyway so it'd be yeah. nice if a guy did that back it would be nice wouldn't it be nice so let me know what wouldn't you guys nice, think nice. wouldn't it be nice <laughs> da, da. I, don't know I like not <laughs> I know you the next the, part. the next lyric is wouldn't it be nice to do the do? I wonder if I'm gonna do that. On that note, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been Pillow Talk with Jacqueline and Lindsay. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!